Parents and students at Lakota local schools now have a new leader. Nine News reporter Adam Marshall is live in Westchester where the school board has just approved the next superintendent. Adam? Carol, like many school districts, there is a lot of work to be done here in Lakota now. Carol Mantia may be coming to the Tri-State from Columbus, but this is not the first time she's worked in the area. We have in front of you a contract. It was a packed house as the Lakota Board of Education voted unanimously to name Karen Mantia the seventh superintendent of Lakota Local Schools. Well, Lakota's great school. Uh, has great reputation. There's a lot of fun challenges and a lot of challenges, but we're here to uh, work together as a team. At 59 years old, Mantia recently won the 2011 Ohio Superintendent Outstanding Performance Award for her work in the Pickerington School District outside Columbus. She was also the superintendent as recently as 2006 for Sycamore Schools. We asked parents their thoughts on Mantia and the fact she did not work her way up through Lakota schools like many past superintendents. From what we heard tonight, it sounds like she's got a great credentials in order to lead this district to where it needs to go in the future. So I'm very hopeful and very impressed by meeting her. We're glad that it's done and we're glad that we have someone in place before the next school year and that she can start with the business of getting us, you know, out of our financial crisis and back on track. Mantia says while there's a lot to do, she bases her decisions with one thought in mind. Where will our children be in 2065? That's when they retire, and uh, that's something that we all have to think about. If we're educating children for the future, we have to be ready for that. And Mantia says her first plan is to meet with district leaders to see what they think should be fixed in the immediate future. And needless to say, she says the real work will come in the weeks and months here in the future.